Hello and welcome. My name is Marisa and I'll be guiding you through the next 45 minutes or so of a full body yoga session. Let's get started in a wide child's pose. Coming to a tabletop position, separating your knees, connecting your toes together, sit back into your heels and extend your arms. Taking a moment to settle into your mat, I invite you to rock your forehead back and forth on the mat, releasing any tightness in your face. And maybe take a couple of deep breaths to begin, inhaling through your nose, filling up the belly. And out through the mouth, H A. Let's do another one like that, inhaling through the nose. And exhaling, H A. And when you're ready, rise to a tabletop position. bringing the shins parallel and coming into a few cat and cows, dropping the belly, look up. Exhaling to pull the belly up towards the spine. Inhale, look up. Exhale, round the spine. Following your own breath pacing. Find a neutral spine, creating a line of energy, shooting through the crown of your head, as well as your tailbone. Tuck your toes and lift your knees just one inch off the mat, pulling up through the belly, igniting a little fire in the belly. Just activating your core, warming it up. Two more breaths. And release, good job. One full breath here. And we'll lift the knees up one more inch when you're ready. Maintaining a long spine. Not allowing your breath to grow stagnant. your knees. Come into a plank position and we'll hold it here for three breaths. Reminding ourselves that our strength comes from our core. 
And so we're starting from a foundational place today. And release your knees to the mat, lift your heels, pull the elbows in towards your sides for a little push up. Release the feet, come up to plank. And we'll work a little flow with the, these two movements. Releasing the knees, push up. Into plank, holding it for two breaths. Releasing the knees, lowering down, hugging the rib cage. And one more like this. And lift your hips high to your first downward facing dog. Keeping your knees soft. Releasing your neck and head, shaking it out. Encouraging your heels towards the mat, even if they don't touch. Lowering the hips all the way to the mat, come into your first cobra, releasing your toes. And if you'd like to take a little movement side to side, I welcome you too. Tucking the toes, lifting the hips high for your downward facing dog again. And release into your cobra. creating a flow between these two mo movements in your own timing. Inhaling to Cobra. Exhaling to Downward Facing Dog. Inhaling to Cobra. Exhaling to Downward Facing Dog. Inhaling to Cobra. Exhaling to Downward Facing Dog. And just one more revolution in your own time. Look to your hands, separate jump to the top of your mat. Connecting your toes together, keeping the knees soft, and just forward fold, continuing to go to greater heights of relaxation, letting go of any tension you're still holding. Just shake it out and maybe find a sway here. Whatever feels good to your body right now. Listen to what it needs and allow that to guide you. Starting from your tailbone, begin to roll up through the spine. Take your time and find your mountain pose, Tadasana. Tucking the hips under, 
squeezing the thighs together, opening up the palms, and grounding yourself. We'll begin some sun salutations here, beginning with Surya Namaskar A. Inhale, extend the arms high. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale to halfway lift, keeping the spine long. Exhale, release into Chaturanga Dandasana. Hugging the rib cage. Pressing up to upward facing dog. And tucking the toes, lifting the hips high for downward facing dog. Inhale to step or jump to the top of your mat. Halfway lift. Exhale, release. Inhale, extend the arms high. Exhale, bring the hands through the center. We'll come into Surya Namaskar B. Inhale to sit the hips back, chair pose. Let's hold this just for a couple of breaths to begin. And exhale, release. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back into your Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale to take the right foot in between the hands, pivot the back heel, rise to warrior one. Keeping the hips closed, making sure your front knee is just in line with your heel. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, step that right foot back. Hover over your mat. Inhale, press up to upward facing dog. Tuck the toes, lift the hips high for downward facing dog. Inhale, place the left foot in between the hands, pivoting the right heel. Rise to warrior one. Exhale, release the hands, placing the left foot back, Chaturanga. Inhale, step or jump to the top of your mat. And sit your hips back to your chair pose. Hold. Exhale to rise. One more revolution of that. Inhale, sit the hips back to chair pose. Exhale, release. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step or jump back into your Chaturanga Dandasana. downward. 
Inhale, place the right foot in between the hands. Pivot the back heel. Rise to your warrior one, keeping the hips closed. Exhale, release into your Chaturanga Randasana. Inhale, place the left foot in between the hands, pivot the right foot, rise to warrior one. Exhale, placing the hands there to support yourself. Step that foot back and release into your chaturanga. Two breaths in downward facing dog. Inhale to step or jump to the top of your mat. Halfway lift. Inhale, sit back into your chair pose. Hold. Exhale to rise. Inhale, sit back into your chair pose. Exhale, release. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. And meet me in Downward Facing Dog. Taking a couple of deep breaths here. Steadying your nervous system. Gaining control of your breath. Shoot the left heel high, keeping the toes facing towards the mat. And lift to open up the hips. Allow that left heel to fall back, opening up. An option to stay here, or you can join me in wild thing by releasing that left heel to the ground behind you. And support yourself with both hands, bringing that left heel high and release to the mat. Shoot the right heel high, initially keeping the hips closed, toes facing the mat. And begin to open up the hips, drawing the toes high to the sky. Allowing that heel to fall behind you. And take your option here, whether you prefer to stay in this position or release the right foot to the mat behind you, opening up into your wild thing. Bringing the right hand back to support yourself, lifting the right leg high. 
and release into the mat. Step the right foot in between the hands, pivot the left foot, windmill the arms open to warrior two. Allowing your drishki to follow the front hand. Tucking the hips, pulling in belly towards the spine. Inhale to reach forward and exhale to draw the right arm overhead into your reverse warrior. Placing the right forearm on your right thigh, extend the left overhead. Gaze is just past that left arm, opening up the left side rib cage. And if you'd like more engagement of the core, you're welcome to extend both arms. Hold for two more breaths. Straighten the front leg and we're coming into triangle pose by creating a straight line here with your arms. Pulling the left hip crease back. Exhale to close the hips and fold over that front leg, lengthening through the spine and drawing that nose towards the knee. Let's take a twist here by extending your right arm high and looking up towards that hand. You're welcome to use a block here or you can use your shin to support yourself. into your pyramid pose. Pivot your right toes towards me and come into your wide-legged forward bend, drawing the forehead towards the mat. And you have options here with your hands. You can grab behind your ankles, for a greater stretch. You can also choose to just sort of hang heavy crossing the arms, or maybe you choose to lift the feet and place the hands underneath the feet to pull yourself through just a little bit further. Remember to always listen to your body and what it needs today, never trying to prove anything. Carefully releasing your hands from under your feet if you chose that position. And pivot the left toes towards the back side of the mat, 
closing the hips, lengthen the spine, and fold over to your pyramid pose. Revolving your triangle pose, extend the left arm high, allowing your drishki to follow. Exhale to release. Placing the left arm in the inner point of the foot or shin. Draw the right arm high to your triangle pose. Pulling the right hip crease back. Again, you can use a block here or place your fingers on your shin if it helps. Coming into reverse warrior, bend the right, I'm sorry, the left knee, and we'll extend the left arm overhead. And windmilling the arms open to warrior two. Straighten the left knee, pivot the left toes towards me, and we'll just a heel toe the feet in just a little bit. And keeping the feet turned out here, we'll go ahead and lower into our Malasana, yogic squat, bringing the hands to prayer, pressing the knees away with the elbows, and keeping the spine long. And from here, we're going to come into our half moon pose and practice our balance a little bit. So if you would like to use a block for that, that could be helpful. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and um, start by putting our support onto our right foot and lifting up, preparing the block if you need one here. And we'll go ahead and keep the hips open as we extend the left leg high here, as well as the arm high. Lowering back into our yogic squat, we'll move to the other side after a couple of breaths. And if you need to bring a block over to the other side, 
or maybe you have one on the other side already. Go ahead and bring your weight towards your left foot here to support you, and we can lift up into our half moon pose. carefully releasing back into our yogic squat. Fantastic job. Take a couple of breaths here. And lift your hips up high once again to your wide-legged forward bend. Pivot the right toes towards the front of the mat, and we'll step back into our downward facing dog. Lift the right leg to three-legged dog, pulling in the right knee in towards your chest. Let's move into our pigeon, placing the shin either parallel to the front of the mat or Diagonal a little bit is fine, but find your center here, not falling onto one hip, but really staying over the center of your body. And you're welcome to stay here in this position or fold forward into sleeping swan. And lifting up to support yourself. Shoot the right heel all the way through and up. Releasing that foot to the mat. Shoot the left heel up to three-legged dog. Bring in that left knee in towards the chest. Moving into pigeon on the other side.
lifting up if you chose to fold over, swing that right leg all the way to the front here. We'll come up into an upward facing plank. So go ahead and take your fingertips facing towards your hips and we'll just lift the hips high. Hold here. Engaging in the inner thighs, in the hips, in the hamstrings. Press up, maybe just one more inch. And release. Awesome job. Extend the arms high. Reach up, lengthening the spine and we'll find a beautiful forward fold here as we begin to settle down towards the end of our session. And draw your chest towards your thighs, releasing your head and neck. Grab whatever you can. If you can't reach your feet, no worries. Maybe you can tuck your fingers underneath your shins or calves or ankles. Begin to roll onto your backs, starting with the tailbone. Lifting the knees high. Extend the right heel high. Cross the legs. Inch the hips a little bit over towards the right, allowing the knees to fall to the left and tee out your arms. Follow your gaze towards the right arm taking a twist Neutralize the spine, unwind the legs, extend the left heel high, cross it over the right. Inch the hips over towards the left, allowing the knees to follow towards the right. And your gaze follows the left hand. Try to keep your left shoulder blade on the mat if you can. And come back to a neutral spine and just go ahead and release the legs to your final resting pose. Taking whatever position feels good to you with your hands. Maybe you choose to allow the palms to open up. Or you can take one hand to the belly, one to the heart. Whatever feels warm to you right now, restful. and bring your attention back to your breath. You don't need to do anything else but melt into your mat now. Fluttering the eyes closed if they aren't already. Softening your jaw and your tongue. And 
and any tightness in your face. This is a great opportunity to take a body scan and notice how each part of your body is feeling now. And if you discover any tension, to release those muscles into further depths of relaxation. Enjoying some intentional time for yourself to gather yourself to get back into the control seat of your mind. Where you get to choose what thoughts you will accept and which ones you will reject. And always staying in a grateful state of mind for these precious moments that we get in the day to rest. making the most of them. I hope this session benefited you. If you'd like to support free yoga, please subscribe like and comment and turn on that little notification button so that you can be notified every time I post a new yoga session for you. I invite you to stay in your Shavasana as long as you like today, continuing to enjoy the present moment. And as always, I'm honored to be your guide Thank you so much for spending this time here with me and with yourself. Have an amazing day and be blessed.